this video we're going to show you how to connect and configure your new Ubiquiti Air Gateway device. Now remember that's a small little black plastic box, about the size of a matchbox, um, which is actually your Wi-Fi device which your laptop, uh, tablet or phone may well connect to. And you can connect multiple devices to that at the same time. So uh, I've now got it configured on the side of my desk here. I've got the DC supply from the motorhome is actually plugged into it. I've got a little blue light on so it's operational and working. So what I need to do now is on my laptop here, listen now this is Windows 10, so it's a little bit different to what we're using in the other videos, but I need to connect to that. Now single click on my little Wi-Fi symbol here, and I'm looking for the default name of the device, and the name is www.ubnt.com. Now it may sound like a web address, and it is, but in this case it's just the actual name of the device. And we'll actually change that to something a little bit more friendly uh, in, a, in a few moments. But what I need to do is just connect to that device. So single click on that, click on connect, and that should connect up. Now there's a little bit of a peculiarity on my laptop because it's actually showing it's still connecting, but it is in fact connected. So we're just going to click off there because I know it's actually connected because I've got the correct symbol down here. So what I'm going to do now is bring up a, a, a browser window. Now I've got to Google Chrome here, but obviously you can use uh, Internet Explorer or Firefox or Opera or if you've got an, an Apple Mac uh, Safari. So I'm just going to type in the IP address of the actual device, 192.168.1.1. Okay, hit return. And I'm going to get this little uh, warning message up that says your connection is not private. Um, that's not an issue in this particular case, but in this case I'm just going to click on Advanced I'm going to say proceed through to the device. And here we are, we've got the login screen. So, first of all, we've got to log in. The default username and password is UBNT. Okay. And so is the password, UBNT. Select your country, in our case, uh, United Kingdom. English uh, choice, you've got lots of other choices there, but English is good for me. Click the uh, I agree to these terms and click login. Uh, in a few seconds that should log me into the screen. Now, the first thing we see is a little uh, click, um, quick setup wizard. Now, it shows you a little warning here, um, which you just have to ignore. Uh, so, need a new password. Now, this is not your Wi-Fi password. This is actually the password for the actual device, a bit like the UBNT we typed in a few minutes ago. So, we're just going to type uh, a new password in here. Type that in twice just to verify. Click on next. The uh, next screen actually tells us to select the SSID or the actual network name for the device. Remember before it was www.ubnt.com. So we're going to call that something my Wi-Fi. You can call it whatever you like. And then the passphrase. Now the passphrase is actually the Wi-Fi password, which will uh, which it will ask for the first time you connect to it. And this has to be a minimum of eight characters. So I'm just going to type something in here. Test, test, one, two, three. I would suggest that you use something a little bit more complex than that. And then click the next button. It just shows you a preview of what you've done. And then click the finish button. Now when you finish, uh, it now comes back to the original screen here. And what it's actually now doing is the device is in fact now rebooting. So the light on my little air gateway has gone white. And it takes about 30 to 45 seconds to reboot, so we're just going to wait for that to happen. Now you probably noticed, um, down in the bottom right hand corner, we've actually lost the, the Wi-Fi connection. So we've just got to wait for that to come back. The device has gone blue, so that's good. So I'm just going to single click on there, and we should see, here we are, my Wi-Fi. And it's now secured. So if I single click on that, click connect, it will ask me for the password. So test. Test one two three, click next, and uh, that should, after a few seconds, just connect to that quite nicely. Okay, so I'm just going to, hopefully that's connected. As I say, my la my laptop seems to have a little bit of a bit of a bug there for some reason, so we're just going to connect to this IP address again. And see if that actually presents and it does so that's actually now working and that's it that is our 
Ubiquiti Ear Gateway device con fully configured. There's nothing else to, to change on here. There are plenty of other options in the menus here. Okay, but you effectively don't really have to touch anything in here at all. So that's it. Thank you very much.